Hey, how's it going? Uh, this is Eric with uh, Markland Designs of Atlanta. And today we're going to be talking about uh, large revving bits like this one here is the XLR. And uh, just safety when using some of these bits. I've seen uh, people use very large revving bits. There are even a few on the market that are larger than this and just plowing right into them, uh, which creates a lot of vibration, a lot of heat, a lot of chatter, and ultimately can be very dangerous. Um, so yeah, I want to elaborate on that. And I know you might notice why I have this black ring here. Um, no, I didn't burn it. This is actually a Sharpie. And uh, in the video, I'll explain why, because when it starts to spin, at the speeds the routers go, it creates a ring. It's a visual representation on where, how far you need to go in step by step. Uh, so you just don't plow right into it and uh, can potentially create a very dangerous situation. So uh, let's get right into it. With the router bit loaded, you can see now that the Sharpie line now creates a circle when it's spinning. So it gives you a visual representation on where you need to stop and start. So the first pass, you go actually, actually to the line, and the second pass, would go all the way down to the bearing. So here you can see, making a full first pass, not going any further, just stopping at that line or that ring. And then you're gonna take the actual wood piece and make your first full pass. Just make sure that you're holding onto the piece very tightly. You don't want the wood to uh, move on you or chatter on you. And then now, we're going to work on our second pass. We're going to go all the way down to the actual bearing and make our final pass. If you're not very comfortable with making the two passes, you can make multiple passes. It's no limit. Just take your time, be comfortable, and move at your own pace. So yes, I uh, hope this helps out. Uh, like I said, just taking your time, not moving too fast. Um, like I said, there's no many. You know, there's no limit to how many passes you can take. You know, I might take two. Somebody might take five. Somebody might take ten. There's no right or wrong answer. Just be careful and uh, you know, make some cool stuff. So I hope it helps out. And as always, you can follow me on Instagram and uh, Facebook on Markland Designs. Thank you.